an Apple script I just wrote for TechShop. Here are the files we're going to use. One of them is a script and the other one is a TEX file. Let's open that up. I'm just going to put my cursor here. This is just a basic file. There's nothing going on here. Um, document class, begin document, end document. And this is just some text that I used to, to throw in there. So my cursor is here. I run the script. First thing it's going to ask me to do is pick an image. I'm going to pick just a random image. It's going to ask me how do I want to scale the image. Let's just change this to three centimeters. Let's change, uh, we'll leave the angle the way it is. Um, it's asking us if we want to put the uh, image in a figure environment. We can either choose no environment, figure environment, or we can even wrap it. Let's wrap it. Should the image have a border? It's just asking if you want to put a black line around the image. Let's just say, no, we don't need one. Do you want a caption? Yes. And here we can say a very nice drink. Okay. And would we like to align it left, right, or center? This only works if you have a wrapped figure. So we're going to put it on the right. Hit OK. How much padding should be used? And we're going to leave it at 5 centimeters. That's, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay what happened here. So it just added the appropriate packages above begin document. So in other words, it added the appropriate packages into the preamble. It generated a folder as you can see here. This is just the name of the file, which is test in this case, underscore images, and uses that as a path for uh, for all of your images, so that way text can find text shop can find the images when you compile. And down here, it added the wrap figure environment. R is for right, five centimeter padding. The centering doesn't matter. It's actually there by default. It doesn't matter. It's not going to change anything with the wrap figure environment. Include graphics. This is the name of the file which is located in here. Here's the magic. This is a symbolic link. So you're actually creating. I picked an image in the beginning from my pictures folder, but it doesn't actually take up any more space uh, because this is a symbolic link. And why do we even need this? Well, because TechShop or Text in general requires you to have an image path with the requires you to have an image path inside of the are given provided in the preamble and it's much easier to have the images as close to the original file for portability as possible um, this way if you do need to move the file to another computer you know which pictures you used you just find out wh where the symbolic links lead to and then you can copy them to the appropriate destination. Anyway, let's see how this compiles. And it compiles just fine, as you can see. Zoom in here. So it just created an image here. Uh, apparently, centering was necessary. My, my bad. So as you can see here, if I take it away, it's to the left. Let's set that again. There we go. Perfect. See, we learn something every day. And now we have our figure, very nice drink with the caption. And if you have to change any other details, everything's already set up. If you need to add another image, the great part is you can still run the same script. These things will not be added twice, they're added one time. That's part of the magic of the script using a, uh, well, I'm not going to explain that in this video, it's too, too long to explain, but that's it.